Hey guys, good morning. It's beta day. 18, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, this is basically going to just be talking about my weight. I'm weighing in um, with for my 40 pounds down in 40. And I'm going the opposite way. Going, going the opposite way. Uh, I was 263 this morning. I can't remember. So, let's just start there. How about we do that? Because I did, when I started this, I did not have a weight for you. So, let's just start there. Let's start at 263. And let's just start this all over again. Right? Today's a new day. We can do it over again. Um, so, my goal is to lose 40 pounds by November 27th. When I started that a couple weeks ago, I'm not even sure how many weeks ago, two weeks ago maybe, I had 34 weeks. So let's just guesstimate and say I have 32 weeks left. I don't know how many days, but 40 by 40 is my plan. Um, and I'll be really honest with you, I am not rocking the, the two kid parent home thing. I cannot imagine having a lot of multiples I feel like I am constantly struggling just to keep my head above water. And I don't know, it just kind of keeps getting a little bit worse. And I don't really know where it's coming from. Uh, obviously I have good days and bad days. I think I really, 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 really think I probably need to go and see the doctor. After I had eyes, I was on something for a little while. Um, I, you know, I took myself off after a while and, you know, I, that really just helped me get over a little bit of a hump. Um, but I just keep finding myself being emotionally and physically not in a good, and spiritually not in a good space. And I know that I sort of covered that earlier in the week, um, with some other videos that I made. Life is hard and I... I am not trying to act like that I, my experiences, things that we go through, are worse than anybody else's, or that somehow what, what I have going on is, is, you know, into the world stuff, because it's not, but... <laughs> I keep telling myself that and pushing things back and then it bubbles up to the surface all in a big cluster. So I think there is something to be said for validating your unhappiness, validating your feelings, validating these hormonal changes, whatever, whatever it is I've going on. I think it's worthy of putting it out there and just saying, I need help. And that's kind of where I've been laying my head the last couple, um, two weeks specifically, let's say two weeks. Uh, I just feel like I am drowning a little and I feel like, so have you watched those videos? Cause don't, if you haven't, they're awful where they will show how kids drown so easily. And sometimes they're staged, but a lot of times they're not. They're, they're videos that they've gone back and sometimes they're hard to see videos where there is a pool full of people, a pool, like full people outside the pool, and a kid is drowning, and nobody around them is watching them drown. There's a whole bunch of people around that could be there to help, but nobody's helping because nobody's realizing that the person, the kid is drowning. And I kind of feel like that is such a great, I feel like that's what's happening right now. I feel like I'm in I'm on a video and people are watching, not, not, I'm drowning and nobody's watching, you know, I kind of feel like that's what's going on. And I feel like that happens a lot. I think that happens a whole lot to moms. Um, thankfully, thankfully, I can sometimes get out of my mouth. I can't do this. I need help. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't always do it. But thankfully, I can pull myself together sometimes and say it. But what really is painful is when you say those words and then there's, there's nobody there to help you and there's, no, there's nobody there to pick up the pieces or 
whatever. There's excuses. Somebody can't got to do this. They can't help you do that. Somebody needs this. They have to do that. Um, but I usually, there's usually somebody that'll throw their arm out there and lift you up a little bit. So, if that is you, if you, if you, if I'm talking, I just, that's what's just on my heart this morning. That's actually not what I started this video to talk about, but if that is you, please let me know because I would love to be that person for you. Uh, I'd love to give you my hand. I don't want you to just be drowned in this water that nobody can see you. Okay, so 263, that's where we're starting, 40 days by 40. Um, my goal for today is to not eat crap and to drink water. I have joined an accountability group. Uh, we are texting each other what we put in our mouths and also macros at the end of the day. So I have started using my fitness pal again. I'll be honest, I hate it. I hate tracking. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But it is really good for me to see and pay attention. Um, I just, I, I hate adding extra things to my day. You would think doing that would make me feel accomplished and make me realize, hey, man, you sure take a bite of your kid's food often. Man, you licked that spoon to make sure the macaroni and cheese wasn't too hot and you ate a noodle. I mean, how do you track that stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that kind of little things all day long, but it adds up. So, it has definitely made me aware, more aware, I would say, um, about those kind of things. Anyways, I'm going to have a kidless day today. I am going to clean my house and um, in preparation for our Easter celebration on Sunday, we have a whole bunch of family coming. I'm going to clean my house today and hope that it stays clean until for like, that's like four days. Four days. Well, today's Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Saturday, so three days. Because my kids won't be home today, so. <laughs> okay, three days and two nights. Uh, one night, you know. Anyways, um. Oh. <sighs> 